Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Gamecast episode 629. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinstein. Ahoy. And Tony Korkanak. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome guys, welcome listeners and viewers. We're live streaming on Twitch Tuesday nights starting at 8 o'clock. It is like 9 o'clock now, so please join us live. You can leave us uh, comments, questions, you can ask them during the show. Uh, we are on YouTube the following day, so smash that subscribe, the like button, on either site so you get the latest and greatest from all of our, from our stuff and uh, we did our movies of the year this week so look for that episode a lot of fun uh today it's just a regular game cast because over time this is we've been doing this for 11 years or so now i don't even know how long it's been crazy uh we have grown to the point where we realize we have to dedicate these days so like the movie cast is dedication for today now next week we will do our games of the year so please tune in for that one uh, and then even the TV, because of how big streaming has gotten and stuff, we've dedicated a day for that. So the following week will be TV shows. Um, I know, Mike, you don't have a lot for the TV show stuff, but there is some amazing stuff that I'm having the hardest time with that list than I have with any other list. Yeah, that was that, that's made. honestly the hardest. Yeah. I'm not done with it because I just I can't I can't rank it. I just can't I can't <laughs> do it. Um, I think that was my I first. Hope. I finished that one first, actually. You know what? You know what it is? Is it's not my top. I hope a half three. a show counts. <laughs> it's not sure. my. Well, it's it's kind of my top three, but it's also like my my surprise. Like there's so many surprising shows this year. I wonder. And if, I'm I'm wonder if our surprise will be the same, but we'll see. I don't know. Actually, I don't think so. Um, mm -hmm. I will say that my list currently stands. Uh, for TV shows, uh, I did do what you did in the movie cast, where I have a representation only once on each. So, um, I had to do I that have... for all just because, you know, yeah, yeah. So, but this is the games, guys. So, welcome, folks. Uh, we should have a lot of fun with this now. For those who are new and didn't watch the movie cast uh, episode, um, we do game stuff on this episode. Uh, we are going to talk news and uh, welcome. And like I said, next week, disappointing, surprise, and of the years, we do the best. So, join us next. Okay, welcome, folks. Let's get into what we've been up to, though. Uh, Mike, kick us off. What are you even playing? So, I don't know if I mentioned it or not because of all these of the years that on the podcast, at least that I'm done with Sonic Frontiers. No, you um, didn't finish that yet. Okay, you hadn't finished that yeah. last time we talked. So, okay, so I you weren't on that episode though, Jim. Maybe. Yeah, but no, didn't we about it. No, he did not finish that on the episode. I oh, because so. I, I did do. I, I missed that's right. One. I missed. I missed the one just yeah. before anticipated. Right? No, was it? No, bold predictions. I missed it before bold predictions, didn't I? So yeah. So I don't know if I mentioned it on here, but yeah, I I finished the game. Like I said, it was um pretty good. A, a little content light, considering it's mm -hmm. supposedly like so epic. Like this is deja vu for me, Mike. We definitely had yeah. this conversation. <laughs> so how yeah. many, But just just so mm -hmm. I know for myself, how many hours did you put into it? Like, uh, being a bit of a completionist, thirty-seven. Okay. Like the 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 proper game, also being half-assed completionist was like thirty hours. Yeah. So it's not like it's not short or anything, but there's like nothing left to do other than an awkward sort of grinding for some stat that is unnecessary at this point for me, which I'm not going to do. So. Okay. Um, you got your money's worth, I'd say. Yeah, you did. So. You know, I, I like I like the game. It's not <laughs> game of the year uh, material, but I liked it. It's definitely encouraging about where Sonic's at going forward. It just mm. needs a little more to it, I think, uh, going forward. Um, and then after that, I've sort of I've, I went back to Elden Ring for a little bit and wasted too many resources on the Tree Sentinel. So kind of felt like I don't want to play that anymore again. <laughs> Because I know what to do to beat. Wait, no, the giant. Aren't you in the fire giant? No, he beat the fire giant. I oh, beat okay. the fire giant. This is in the like Farum or whatever the uh, where the everything's a by a tornado, and it the it's the draconic tree sentinel, right? The one that the same one that was outside of the, the uh, capital. He's like the gatekeeper per se. Oh, um, oh, yeah, yeah, no, okay. You're at, you're near the boss then. You just have to you have to beat him. Yeah. So, I but got you. that's um, why I don't want to go in with like no resources after no. beating him. Yeah, that's Although very. I'm sure, I'm, a... I'm sure there's. I'm Where'd not sure actually, but there's. They're going to be a. Uh, I hope there's going to be grace afterwards, but 
Um, either I way, skipped, I, I skipped, always I, agree once you beat a boss. I also script. I skipped. Well, it. he's not. He's not like a an official boss per se. Does he get this character. Off? Wait, are you talking like the open world stuff, or is it like a fog wall? He's There's a fog, fog wall behind him. So, so the tree sentinel. This is the this is the one I ran into where yeah, he it's on the you. stairs. As you on slowly stairs. walked, as you slowly walk through this fo- the fog wall, he would hit you sometimes and knock away half your health or something like that to fight the boss. This is the one in I, the city. Yeah, right. No, this is at the gate. Not to get into the city. This is no at the, at the boss in the city. Oh, I'm looking. You guys can talk. You know. You know the. Uh, it's the one before the the boss. After... My butt. Um, After you take out, listen, if you remember this, so I took out the fire giant, right? Now I get transported to the Pharaoh of Zula or whatever the hell it's called, where everything is like a tornado. Yes, I fought and, a dragon that the dragon, same dragon, I think that you saw earlier. Yes, the ramp up. You talking about the ramp yes. up? Yeah, it's yes. like a long stairway up, and then this is the same type of boss that was outside of the capital. And I was trying to get around this guy forever, and he would hit you constantly, and then you would have to yeah. face. You'd have to face um yeah, you the one beat, that you need to beat him. Yeah. You do because yeah, I, I figured was, I did. Yeah, if you beat him cuz you can't fight the boss. I was I for for a week, a week I was trying to go around him to fight the boss. Uh and then I realized how much easier it is once I don't have to try to rush bad. through. I feel bad cuz I don't even remember this dude cuz I like two shot him, I think. Yeah. Now see um, my um the, I my problem is <laughs> I uh, so as I as you know I switched to like the the bleed build, but it's really not optimized. It's just there to be an alternative to using the other thing I was doing. Well, so this boss bleed doesn't. I believe this is the boss. The bleed doesn't really do anything for. This was a pain in the ass for me. This boss coming up. But um, I also realized that this same type of boss took me forever to get into the capital. I remember with too. It took me this this time to realize that you have to dodge forward for the lightning strike because i was trying because it made no sense to do that i kept going like horizontally and like would get hit like 75 percent of the time so it took me this long to realize that i could beat this boss but my problem is i'm just not hitting him enough like the window i'm swinging and missing a lot i'm just not close enough here's the thing so, about oh, like you feel like so you can I- beat him but he's actually hits very very hard anyways so yeah i got you so um, basically, I want to have a lot of uh, the the bleed little throwing knives, which I throw in between all those fireballs. And I, I've came pretty close so far, but I use everything up. I'm very low on rune arcs now, too, and I'm just like, oh, man. So I have to just grind again, and I just... That, I, that's the point where this game sort of makes me like a... <laughs> Wait, what are you grinding for? To buy more uh, stuff to throw at this guy. Or the boss following, because I don't have magic at all, really. So I need to I throw stuff. I didn't use I didn't use magic either. I used the throwing darts, uh, the daggers. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm Kunai's, trying to use. Kunai's. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to buy a bunch of those. I have zero runes now. I oh used up everything. I used <laughs> oh, up everything. Man. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, that's you gotta try to find that good supply of runes. I used there's, up everything because I. Lots to farm just. Look up a yeah, up there's some great spot. areas there that you can just grab a whole bunch. So you should be you should be able to tell them. Just kill the bird. Just sit by the ledge and kill the effing bird with your bow. What, what bird? It's in the underworld. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. At this I point, Mike, that already. do that to farm your runes to help you get stuff you can buy with, and then go over and face the boss. Like, don't let the I game mean, handicap I... you like that. Just go ahead and exploit it. I did several times, uh, but, you know, whatever. I mean, I went through, like, 90 of those knives fighting this boss so 90? far, at least. Ooh, no, you're using yeah. two what? knives. Like, okay, you guys so, are insane. It's, it's I'm the problem, any it's the problem, item in this game. It's the, no, it's the I get problem this... anyway. I'm hurting him because yeah, you, know, dodge, you dodge those, those fireballs and I throw it. You get one throw. And then any time he actually comes close, I'll get, like, a slice at him, which isn't great oh. for the bleed bill because you need to do a bunch. I'm, but I'm going to give you some better advice do not use the mimic right away i don't can't use the mimic against this guy oh that wait yes you can no i can't they don't give you that for this because it's outside of the boss area oh this, you're talking about the tree sentinel i'm on the yes. boss i thought you were talking about it. no oh just kill the damn guy dude <laughs> that's what he's I'm trying to do trying, <laughs> man. 
Stab him in the face. Dude, Stab 90? Him in the face. I, I can't. God, I can't. I'm, I'm primarily just throwing shit at him because right, so I, I'm not the, getting a good hit. If, on, dude, if it's at that point, just switch to an archer build and just fucking use a bow and arrow on him. Oh, God, that's so slow. I don't think this tree sentinel caused me. The, I, the original tree sentinel kicked my ass. This guy, I rolled yeah. him. Like, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. But yes, yeah, I think well, the, well, I'm giving you tips for the boss thing. You're on stuck on the boss, and I'm like, because you're also rolling past the trees. I thought you're rolling past the tree sentinel. Which you no, I'm do. not. No, I'm, I'm fighting him no, every you time. I, him to get to the I know, I know, because I couldn't beat the guy without without yes. beating him. But I, but, you know, and he is tough. Uh, he hits hard, but you gotta just get behind him. Just out DPS him, dude. At this point, get behind you, him. You just kill him faster than he kills you. Easy. That's it. Get I don't know him. if I. I might have to. Dude, are you slow rolling? Do you have rebirth? No, no, oh, I'm, I'm medium. Are you cumber? Oh, okay. Shit. No, go go light, man. The hell with it. Go light. Get get <laughs> yeah, behind him light. and. <laughs> yeah, I went light. I said the hell with it. Like I ended up going get hit light. once you die. Just don't get hit, nub. You don't have to get hit. Just go. Like I roll, roll, roll. Uh, I was never like I was. I was. I. I think I probably ended up going medium with Radon's armor and stuff like that. But. Uh, um, uh, God. Funny. Whatever. Anyway. Uh... It's Longest conversation of Elden Rings in a long time. So, yeah, so I <laughs> actually like, ah. sort, I sort of stopped playing it again, and uh, I uh, since I got uh, a refurbished PS2 recently, um, oh, wow. I uh, I'm playing Justice League Heroes on there, which is the very sort of it's kind of like a, it's from 2006. It's kind of like a ripoff of the uh, X Men Legends multi- yeah. Ultimate Alliance games, but um, with justice league characters and i like it it's harder than i remember but um it's fun to revisit and uh i just kind of wish they did more with that franchise going forward too like the justice league is ripe for that type of game and it's a real shame where you haven't gotten anything else since then from you, that do you think we get a superman game at some point no no some point yes but i don't know so, i don't know i don't know can. man but everyone like i don't know I'm so it, it just makes me more more skeptical of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League going forward. Just like gotcha, yeah. Justice League game like done in that style would be yeah, great. I, yeah. Now, Whatever. I don't, I don't. I don't really have much to add except for I played more Midnight Suns, which I'm trying to finish it up before. Yep. Our, our yeah, years. I still need I, to determine before that sale goes away if it's something I can play or not. I think you can. Play and just yes. Uh, no, but I think Mike can play this game. I, I do sure think he it's probably could, but I mean, I'm at the point now in the play. game. Really, where... I'm terrible at strategy. Just no, see what happens not... when I play Elden Ring. But there's not. No, no, no. That's that's that's, <laughs> that's like different. no, that's, that's different. different. And and this is not a heavy strategy game. It's not. I mean, there's combinations you need to learn, but you know that you can do that. Like that's not like you're. That's you know that's up your wheelhouse. Like that's combos. If you got got figure it out. like a dragon, I'm I'm fairly certain you can make it through this. This is a lot more tandem like a dragon for your your interest, Mike. I, I do think you can play this game. Okay. I, I've played a bunch of it, and uh, the card battling strategy part of it um, has become more of like a fighting game for me. It's more like a fighting game. Like I just you, you have to draw the cards, but then it's a matter of how do I use these cards to build up the attack and combo all of the heroes together to make it all fuck shit up essentially. Yeah. And that's really what it's about. Yeah. Uh, and the, the rest of the strategy, I give a look at, so. that's the that's the strategy really about the game. Mm-hmm. That's it. I mean, the rest of it is experiencing a, a Marvel game with all of the your favorite heroes, in, you know, in it, uh, with with very cool like unlockable costumes and stuff like that. Like it's on my right now. It's already on my list for of the years. I just obviously it's just um, where it's going to fall is the is the problem. Um, so, but I, I do enjoy this game. So I think you'd like it though. I think you could play it, and it's on sale. So I think you'd check it out. It's, it's on sale for like another week i saw so yeah i'm, I'm yeah. like mm. you know what i was looking at today though for just can you conversation we only have like a couple of news pieces today guys uh but uh street fighter collections on sale today for like 11.99 is that worth picking up guys did anybody hear anything i have it which so collection yeah you're talking about like the yeah. switch and ps I, I, and xbox yeah but it's on it's on xbox early oh it's on 12 it's 12 bucks on xbox yeah, the so anniversary probably, collection right yeah you play yeah. all the alpha games yeah, it's and, great and, it's fantastic yeah mm-hmm. okay for 12 dollars, absolutely it's like yeah, a dollar a game bucks. not even yeah. the worst part is i have some of those games emulated that's fine. On yeah, the absolutely steam deck yeah, absolutely but, yeah. yeah absolutely for 12 bucks though i'm like why not? you know it's yeah, I, I I thought I'm like I could I Dude, could go back to my more old money of, on the arcades of those games. Street yeah. Fighter Two, I've smashed more controllers than twelve dollars. Yes. So, 
uh but it, it does make me want to play that game oh i do want to go back now and play it that just reminded me so yeah i'm probably picking that up but uh cory anything yeah i'm playing xenoblade 3 yes. going so, through how far how far five gonna... six hours maybe oh. now not not so, gonna make not it. far not <laughs> far <laughs> just um i'm breaking my way towards i got i got i, yeah. I found I got my black and my white teams. They combined, and we're headed out. Okay, all world. right. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Okay. Yep. So gotcha. yeah, I don't want to spoil too yeah, much, yeah. but yeah, it's exactly so. Uh, got there and been uh, probably about an hour with them. That's yeah, about yeah. where I'm at. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, yep. Still early, but making an a, an effort to get through or not get through, but just play it. I, it's probably not gonna be on my list just because I'm so early in it. But I, I I'm enjoying this way more than I was with Xenoblade. Good, good. Just because it's have... much more it's, similar well, to yeah, it's it's more yeah, in depth the, than the battle tactics. Yeah, so. this is the gameplay, and I, I appreciate what Xenoblade you know presented to get to where we are now, mm-hmm. like with two, and yeah. then here with this, the iterations and everything. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. Yeah. It's it's a stepping stone, mm-hmm. you know. In the, yeah, the exactly, and. It, and yeah, yeah, so I really, just... and I, it, the story is interesting. I mean, obviously, as soon as they came out on screen, the, like the white team, I was like, oh, they're they're gonna be my party because I didn't really know anything about yeah. the game yeah, at all. Yeah, I didn't look up yeah. any stuff, so I was like, these guys are unique. They're not just some people. <laughs> <They don't>, yeah, <laughs> and I like how that all played out. So um, it's gonna be it's pretty neat so far. So yeah, enjoying it, but still pretty early. Yeah, yep. yeah. He just <laughs> reminded me of uh, anticipated anticipated podcasts are coming up for those listening um mm-hmm. and just reminding me of a game that i not xeno play but i need to make as my probably my most anticipated for this year Ooh. second most second most it can't be my most there's obviously it's one there's only one game that's my most anticipated and you know tony knows what that is yeah right? it's a but, um, for both of us. Yeah. yeah yeah but this one deserves to be out already and it's not yet oh absolutely uh so yes uh tony what have you been playing uh, i played a lot a lot, a lot. Ooh. I can't even list it all, all the things I've played, because I Ooh. have been, uh, for four days, down in National Harbor, Oh, yes, Maryland, you played some classic stuff. Magfest. Yeah, I saw you yes. pictures. Yeah. Um, yes. Cool. So, all, I just want to start off with, this is my first MAGFest experience, because previously we'd always gone to KatsuCon, which is at the same venue, the Na- the Gaylord oh, at the nice. National Harbor. It's yeah, so, you know the layout, cool. you know how the building is and stuff like that. I wish... We had gone to this years ago because this, really? I think everybody would have so much fun at this convention. So first of all, it's 24 hours. The convention hall never There's always st- Wow. So nice. you have the console free play area, the tournament area, the arcade, and the merchant vendor booth. 24 mm-hmm. hours. No, no, granted, some of the vendors, they're not up, but like some of them will be, will have staff like for the whole day. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you could be like, I'm drunk, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, fuck it, we're playing Mortal Kombat 3, bro, or like, you know, Street Fighter, whatever, or obscure Japanese rhythm game, like, they have it all there, it is ridiculous, I took a video, I'll probably upload it, just like a walkthrough of the arcade, and I I, mm-hmm. I sent some uh, pictures in the Discord, but like, we had classics, like the te- the, the Turtle Classic um, game, uh, Sick Player X-Men Konami arcade game was there, oh, Wow, shit ton yeah. of pinball machines, um, Pretty much all the big, you know, fighting games for the past 15, you know, years and stuff like that. Um, they had the 4-4 four four Gundam uh, arcade units. I even got to play, and I'll mention it because it's notable, the F-Zero AX. Now, that's the uh, arcade game developed by Sega um, back in the GameCube era. So they released it on the GameCube, but also released it in the arcades. Now... The, they released a deluxe unit that actually the um, seatbelt, the seat is actually suspended. And so as you're turning and stuff like that, you actually have to seatbelt yourself in. Otherwise, it doesn't enable this mode. But, like, it will actually tilt and stuff like that to wow. simulate the like the zero gravity kind of thing. And it's so awesome. I was like, holy shit, this game is amazing. That's all I got. Um, so I played that. Uh, that game I talked about uh, called Killer Queen is so fun. Like... It's a five on five, uh, like I don't know, two D pixel game where it's like one team, like it's yellow team versus blue team, and you have you have different paths to victory. You can either win by resources, as in like the your team gets all the berries under the holes, or you kill the opposing uh, queen unit, and you know because it's bee themed and stuff like that. Or <laughs> there's this goofy snail in the middle of the level. And you can ride it, and then as you ride it, it goes towards your goal. And if the snail gets there, you, you win the game and stuff like that. So it's a five. Switch also. Yeah, right? it came so out on Switch. Fair, fair. 
yeah. a little while ago. Yeah. Uh, Sounds but like it, a fever dream to me. But it is so fun. <laughs> like there were people constantly crowding this and like just watch because they had like I think three sets of machines so like six, just constantly going all the time. And you just had these people getting riled up and being like, you know, get the snail, get the snail, or like you know, get the berry, you know, so like it just. It was so fun. Like, games are the best when you have like a big crowd. Yeah, I'm not even describing well. I would just say go on YouTube, just look up Killer Queen uh, Arcade or something like that. Like it's it's so fun because they even say like like they they purposely design the game for like bars. They're like you know have a drink mm-hmm. and play the game and make new friends or something like that and, and whatnot. It, it's such a fun experience. Fun. I wish I had like seen that at any arcade uh, over the years. But anyway, MacFest super awesome total experience because you get like ha- like part of the anime con with like the cosplay and stuff like that. So during sure. the weekend, they had meetups for all these different game genres. Um, like they even had like a Yakuza meetup. So they had all these like Yakuza cosplayers came out. I actually uh, met this one couple that's like our age bracket. And we were just like reminiscing about the old days and like, you know, gaming these days and how Yakuza is like one of the few bastions of like, you know, wacky Japan, Sega goodness and stuff like that. Um, but it was such a really good time. And uh, like I said, 24 hour <laughs> being. That's cool. Uh, just I'm definitely now. interested in that. Actually, quite a bit. I don't know why I got that like and bust up the Ike. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the Ike cosplay there. No, <laughs> I didn't. Uh, God, I don't even know if I really think still around. You don't... I have to, I have to, I mean, that dude, that's like yeah. 2008 or something. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I don't know, like, I don't even, I don't remember you cosplaying much after that. That's all. That's why I, I did it occasionally. Well. It was, you know, we did this like the Street Fighter the one year, and oh, yeah. that was a, that was a great cosplay run, right? Yeah. There. yeah uh but yeah well maybe i'll be inspired again um and the other part of it so uh it's called magfest really close to mag so it's kind of like iffy uh but it stands for music and games so the other part of it is uh it's a music festival and like it's game themed but like also like edm and stuff like that mm-hmm. so they had concerts all weekend they had this one band i forget their name off the top of my head but they had play in transformer cosplay outfits <laughs> yeah. and, wow. and they sing in dance and, and all that stuff um and it's just crazy because they have all these dedicated... Like, you guys remember the gazebo area, right? So they yes. have these, like, yes. jam sessions and other, like, groups, like, grassroots, like, groups that just play video game music and stuff like that. In the bar lounge area, they had this woman that was singing, like, um, like vocal songs from, like, famous games like Snake Eater or, like, um, Mario Odyssey's Jump Up Superstar and stuff like that. And it's just, like, just random. Like, you could just be like, oh, that's really cool. And, like, you just stay and watch the show. It's, it's totally an awesome time. If there's one convention I would convince you guys to come to, it's this one because like, whereas yeah. PAX is on the commercial side of like video games because you know it's all the companies showing up. This is like the opposite end where it's like, like just people that love games like indie. Like there, there's an indie pres- a small indie presence there and stuff like that, but it's just about people celebrating and playing games and stuff like that. So nice. cool. it sounds really awesome actually. So huh? uh, it might be interesting. That was last. That was last there, week. Tony? There is. They have a tabletop free player. Nice. Yep. And there I'm we sorry, are. Jim, what would you say? Oh, yeah. Well, is it was it last week you said? This past weekend. So it's usually so traditionally first, traditionally first or okay. second weekend in January. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Good to note because yes. I'm not saying I might I might be interested in that next year actually. Yeah. So it's uh, so it kind of be a be a good nostalgia run there to yep. do some tabletop slash arcade games with us. Yep. Um. So cool. All right. Uh, let's let's talk about a little news. There's a little bit left here on news here. Uh, let's see. Um, Sony had their CES show. Um, <laughs> I missed. I was like, I was thinking about like a <laughs> accessibility thing for my predictions, but I was thinking Nintendo might do that. But I yeah, Nintendo seems like it. I, I sh- I'm sure Nintendo will shortly. But uh, well, gonna th- have to, yeah, Sony announced yeah. obviously announced Project Leonardo for PlayStation Five, a highly customizable accessibility controller kit. Uh, you know, so like what, like what Microsoft did, which is a very popular thing that Microsoft did. Uh, Sony has um, gotten on board as well for the PS5. Uh, interesting looking controller. Um, hopefully that uh, is does make gameplay fun for all. Uh, yeah, that's the idea. Um, it, it, it's definitely. I mean, it's yeah, a cool all idea. All about accessibility. If you can, you know, mm-hmm. people are physically unable to do gaming because of a handicap or yeah, yeah, some yeah. type of yeah, just like. You know, like Even I said so. about the adaptive controller, I mean it's not for me, and that's I'm, I'm happy about no, it. Yeah, it's yeah. it should be for right. the people that you know have right. more of a challenge um, mm-hmm. playing Absolutely. games. And well, you know, and I'm glad that it is different and unique to compared mm-hmm. to like Microsoft's offering, 
Um, yeah. Just to like whatever you know they want to do because again competition is healthy for everybody and stuff like that. So I'm excited. Yeah, I'm getting nice. to see what comes out. It's a lot of buttons. It I is. Like, it, I was looked at. I was like, is this a meme? Is this a joke? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, that makes sense. But like at first, I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then so, just that, well, that makes sense based on like what you'd have to do if you, you know, I, you you replace directions with just buttons yeah. basically if you can yeah. do one then, sort of press. If you're limited that way. Yeah. yeah. And then more from the show too is uh I think the biggest thing was the, them stating that the PS5 shortage is over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 30 million. Uh, Real quick though, I want to go back to accessibility really quick. Yes. Um so while we dunked on The Last of Us Part One remake that came out for seventy dollars, you know, full price. Yeah, absolutely. The one, well, the one thing I have to admit, so I think I mentioned it last year around the summertime, whenever um Sakurai had made his own YouTube channel to just make content creation videos about like being a game developer and stuff like that he has these random videos that are just like assortment of whatever he wants to do and he actually covered accessibility in last of us uh, part one and he had made this like eight minute long video and went through all the options and i was just like holy shit i didn't i, I mean i heard good news about it and stuff like that but like watching it like him going through every option and being like this is great because this reason and then this is another thing we have to think about in terms of like, a, there's a mode where you can play, and like any character shows up as like a unique color or something like that, where it's and everything else is yeah. like, kind of like grayish and stuff like that. Or you could tweak like the rectal settings to be you know the specific. You can even change it to like your controller like is upside down, and you can map the buttons and everything like that just to, to just be like that. And I was like, you know what, that hmm. is really um, respectable and like yeah. cool. And it's weird so- that. It wasn't nominated at the Game Awards. It fucking God of War Ragnarok won it. And I was just like, wait, what? Well, it, it has a lot. Sony's Sony's games have had a, been doing that a lot lately. I have, yeah. God of War Ragnarok does have a very long list of things. Some of which I actually turned on myself just because, like, for, like, timing for those bell ringing puzzles, mm-hmm. um, you can extend that in there. I'm like, yeah, let's just do that. I don't want... That's not mm-hmm. a fun thing when you don't do that in it's time, honestly. Spider-Man too, just like yeah. some of the quality. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Sony, Sony has stuff. a lot of, a lot of them lately. They've been going all in on that, which is mm-hmm. good. Um, yeah, and yeah, surprising. like even if even if you view yourself as abled, just um, just look through there, see if there's stuff that you'd prefer. Because yeah. there's no, that's you know, the thing is like a lot of things that you don't think about as someone who may not have that disability or or handicap and. You know, people like all like colorblind things like you know, so in, in board games a lot of times. I, I'm a big tabletop guy, so board games like a lot of people don't consider like colorblind like factors and like you need to have an option for people that are not able to see all the colors or mix colors up to and and so seeing that in video games and then just you know expanding on that with like you say the like, yeah. shapes of things, colors of objects and. Mm-hmm. all those different things it's great and then now having a physical device to help with people with those physical disabilities as well is is really fantastic yeah because yeah i mean like oh. we talk about how great some of these things are in some of these games it's like you want everybody to experience that and yep. definitely not everybody can say on it can watch it but again it's not this always the same you want to be the one in control as mm-hmm. some of the point of a game and not necessarily a, you know you can watch a movie but you know being that person being that character controlling that and having that experience is different than watching a let's play or something yeah yeah <clears throat> so good yep and like i said the, the shortage is done uh, i said i actually saw pre on ps5s mm-hmm. on gamestop oh there you go oh. so go get them guys yeah no i'm waiting for there. the email i know it's coming this year I know it's yes coming. Oh, now the shortage is over with yes yep. so all right what else we have here on the news there's one other thing oh the xbox um the rumor. Xbox rumor. rumor. Well, you know what though? I, where there's smoke, there's fire. Because I saw multiple Xbox, like Microsoft uh, representatives, like workers, talking about how crazy this yeah. this week is going to be. So I don't think it's been announced yet on this yet as, as of this podcast. But I do expect an announcement this week of something from Microsoft. So the rumor is that Xbox will host a new developer uh, direct games um to show like their upcoming 2023 releases, including Redfall, Forza, and more um that's the rumor and i did see a lot of uh microsoft people tweeting hey you know this is gonna be a fun week i Um, did i did hear someone say that 
they're still sticking to the first half uh, thing for Starfield, which the first I'm dubious half. about. Yes. Well, so this rumor, I don't know if you read the, the link that I posted. It mentions nothing about Starfield at all. It doesn't. There's nothing. I, I did read it. Yes, there's no thing in there. But that's why I found it weird. I'm like, why would you have a developers conference and not have the game that's coming out soonest? Right? I feel like I feel like well, Starfield. Fall, we know the last time they said something about. There was something where there was a thing where they talked about both Redfall and Starfield. I think it was Todd Howard actually gave an interview, and uh, he umbrella. did he did sort of say, I don't know if he meant to, but he sort of said that Redfall is definitely before Starfield. Wow! Like that's, that's, that's coming up. Looks like it should be before Starfield. I would argue yeah, so that. That's, that's I, mean, I, would, I would agree with that first, now because first yeah. half of of the year which yeah. i'm banking on nothing comes out from microsoft so we'll see <laughs> i've got and i say I mean, november <laughs> i mean redfall <laughs> seems like that game got, I, there's no reason for that game not to come out this year yeah i've got three major games from them this year triple a so let's see a lot of redfall major triple a game i don't so. i don't I, I don't know i hope but i don't i wouldn't i wasn't counting on that one myself so when that's I, when dishonored I right this is dishonored people yeah yeah so I'm not counting on that myself, but I'm expecting Starfield. Uh, I think this points to another, like a Starfield, like just a, pre, a separate right. presentation for Starfield, but it starts or ends with, hey guys, we're sorry, we need some more time. Yeah, I think you're right. I do think you announced that during this, right? Because right? they yeah. don't want, because honestly, if they put that in the main presentation, it would detract so much from anything else they announced. Like, it wouldn't matter if they gave mm -hmm. us fucking everything that Xbox fans want or didn't even ask for, but... Like, still would want after announce it this would drag the whole show down if they announced another delay for I, I, we have to get something like perfect dark style in this right we gotta get perfect dark in this oh right? that they they had to scrap and start over there they restarted they? that They're, yeah, yeah the oh, they, they, or i have no faith in microsoft getting anything that they have they own out <laughs> i can't argue like, any old stuff all. that they have it's all dead i mean yeah. not, there's nothing yeah there's nothing they have so many properties I mean, that the only thing dead. that they're trying to kill at like it's they're doing dead, their best Jim. It's dead. How <laughs> how long ago was that that they said Chris they it was first one hundred please. No, no but awesome. that news about Perfect Dark they had to like, I think change studios or like basically set, like they had to start over. But uh, how long ago was that news? Now was that like a year ago? Yeah. That it, it's... Well, I assume Rare's got something cooking at this point from going moving on from Sea of Thieves. Yeah, they have ever. Or was it Everwild or Call? Oh, the Everwild game. That's right. That was them? No, that wasn't them. I'm pretty sure it was, wasn't it? I don't remember. Look it, it up. Actually. Do it live. It's been guys. so long. I don't know. When was that announced? Two years ago? Yeah, so. Like that. Is it Everwild? Everwild. Everwild is. Rare games. Is Rare? Everwild. Title there it is. Rare. He's got Rare. it. He's got Rare. it. Okay. That's it. There it's it is. I, I assume that's 2020. Be, yeah, that's three years ago. I assume <laughs> Google people also ask, is Everwild canceled? <laughs> mm -hmm. It will say. Video Game Chronicle reports that Everwild has been completely rebooted and the team is now targeting a 2024 release. There we go. What even so was see. that? Exactly. It was like the, yes. the kind of cartoonish, vibrant looking Legend RPG. of Zelda looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything looks like Breath of the Wild yeah, now. So. Everything looks like Breath of the Wild. It's weird. Hmm. If, it, hey, if this first half of the year is as empty as it might be, I might actually play that game. It's not coming it's out. It's not coming out. No, 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 no. The the old the wild. One. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because the, the I can, original. The yes, one that I never. I've, I've never played that, so I might give it a try. I generally don't like Zelda games, but That's I might pretty, play I that. Say, one. Yeah, I don't know if it, if you like the, don't like the other ones. I think this one probably is different enough. Yeah, but uh, all right. Hmm. That's that's uh, we'll we'll see if anything comes from this. But I did see a lot of them tweet about a very important week this week. So and that would line up with doing this conference thing if they announce it. So we'll see. <sighs> there was also... important for us or for them? <laughs> for them, for them, not for us. Exactly. I mean, is it, is it doesn't affect my life. <laughs> Once again, you can't. No matter how you do, however you slice it up, it's been a disappointing run for Microsoft these last few years. There's no, you can't, you can't change that narrative so two years in no system killer yeah no must have there's nothing no and then and then the drop ball from halo the massive momentum that it had and then to falter and fail i mean it's just 
like they're trying, like I said earlier, just trying to kill it. Yeah, let it die. I kill don't the past. Know if kill they're the past. trying to kill it, but they, uh, they, they have definitely heard it. Yeah, there was, feels that way. There's also news that. Um, hold on, I didn't post. It. I think we, I, I think we could get a gears game this year. I think it uh, happen. The coalition. What are they working see. on? The Forza see? Horizon Five creative director and several key team members. Oh, I did see Broke this. away yes. from Playground Games. Yeah, they made their making games or makers or something like that. What yeah. was it called? Uh, the fresh team is led by Playground veteran and Forza Horizon games. director Mike Brown. With work already underway on a new premium open world game for console and PC, um, one of six former staff at Maverick. Maverick, uh, that's games. the name. That's right. I, I began with an M. I knew it began with an M. I'm like, what was it? Um, so, I don't know if, if my first goal would be to do an open world game, but hey, good good on them. Go for it. I mean, I, uh, I imagine after you make five Horizon games, you, you, you want to do something. Yeah, something I guess. Horizon's an open world kind of racing game. I mean, All right, but but I mean they have so they have the open world part. Maybe they just want to make yeah. a different game that's not racing. I mean, oh, I get it. You know, I get you it look too. at you look at Breath of the Wild. You look at Elden Ring. Those are selling you know thirty million copies. Yeah, you want to do it? So yeah. Horizon, <laughs> Horizon. Well. You know, I mean, taken away from you know going from a shooter to a yeah. open world game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, that's gonna wrap up this episode, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Next week. Next week is the Of The Year podcast. Once again, we are on Twitch streaming live Tuesday nights. So we will do the movie cast next week first. Then we'll do the Of The Year game cast following the same pattern as normal. Uh, so join us then on both on Twitch. Uh, subscribe to our channel so you know when we go live. And then the same thing for the following day. We're on YouTube. So join us over there and uh, leave us comments, uh, questions, whatever you got. Leave us for us and uh, we'll, we will respond. We will answer. Have some fun. Enjoy it. <laughs> See you guys soon. We are out.